Good morning. Welcome to James with Jesus on this Wednesday, May 31st. Um, the appointed psalm for today is one of my favorites. It's Psalm 8. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the field the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. One of the reasons I really like this psalm is because it answers a fundamental, or I should say answers, it addresses a fundamental question of just the vastness of the universe and how tiny we can feel at times. And so the inevitable question, you know, uh, is anybody out there, does anybody care type dynamic? And so what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? So this connection between God and God's creation with humankind, um, knowing that God does care for us and does look after us, doesn't mean it's a pain-free life or that bad things don't happen. Our Lutheran theology, um, you know, we talk about the sin with a capital S being kind of a state of brokenness, that um, there's still disease and war and all these other anywhere from unpleasant to devastating things that go on. And yet we trust in, you know, the last words of Matthew's gospel, uh, and lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age, that, that God is with us. And so, again, what's fascinating to me is knowing that humans have been asking these questions um, for thousands and thousands of years. Poets, maybe some of the people that can address it best, or artists, uh, again, not my strength or forte, but I appreciate their insights, their questions, their, their way of fashioning words um, to address the big questions. Um, you know, I, to me, this also brings it down from the, the very macro, the universe level, to then uh, our experience on Earth among other creatures as far as being given dominion or stewardship uh, over them. Um, and just knowing that we can appreciate God through God's creation and at least begs the bigger question of, well, I didn't create all this stuff, so who did? And you can go down the path of, well, it's just all a cosmic accident, or you can assign meaning to this, um, and then know that it's in God's hands through creation, through using evolution as a means of creation, um, just being able to enjoy it all. So let's pray. Holy God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for the beauty and incredible diversity of your creation that we walk through or drive by or uh, cycle in each and every day. Help us to slow down enough to appreciate this and treat it for the sense of awe and wonder that it is. Help us um, through childlike eyes to just be overwhelmed by the mystery and the, and the playfulness of your creation. So. Uh, this day, um, be with us, help us to sense your presence, help us to listen to your word and seek to be transformed and changed um, into being more Christ-like for ourselves and for our neighbors. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, hope you have a blessed day today. Pastor Josh, myself, maybe a couple others will be helping intern Courtney get her uh, her moving van packed up this morning, and then she'll be off to back to seminary. Well, God's peace be with you.
bye bye.